It's alive! It's alive! Oh man! Don't know what the hell happened with the first event, but uh, YouTube just didn't want to sync my stream for some reason. I couldn't even get the preview running. But here we go, guys. Uh, I just felt like uh, like testing out the live stream once again uh, because I had her uh, read on uh, somewhere. I don't even remember where anymore. Some some pretty uh, discouraging uh, news about this. Uh, I read somewhere that you were no longer able to comment on live streams and uh, so yeah I wanted to check out if that's actually true because because that would be such a surprise and such a weird change and it does look like I'm alive on my uh, on, on the actual stream page as well so it should all be going well if you have any problems uh, let me know in the comments uh, as always and then for this for this test stream, I'm going to uh, do my regular uh, solitude exploration run, which I have not done yet uh, today, because I've been playing a lot of Minecraft with that bloody Tomcraft. That's <laughs> very difficult, but also uh, quite addictive. So, anyways, let's head to a planet, and here we have two signatures in the ballet that I can scan. If you have any questions to ask, because I do see that normally. You can uh, actually post uh, comments still, and I should be able to see them. Feel free to uh, to post some. This is going to be like a little bit of a general repetition, just in case I want to do more streaming. I should try and maintain uh, my uh, my streaming habit a little bit, or just try and increase how often I do this, just to to get used to it. So here we go, landing on planet one, and uh, do I have sister? probes in cargo yes I do so that's good and man I don't know what the hell was was wrong with the first tr uh, stream I wanted to start but for some reason uh, it just didn't want to sync and I could not uh, get the start stream button to work anyways here we go first system let's uh, let's have a quick check um, unfortunately the, their circumference already doesn't bode too well here uh, if you want something like a Serpentis 5 outpost, you want something that's a little larger uh, than the uh, than the regular pinpoint formation. So I'm suspecting well, the other one is a combat one as well, but it's probably not going to be anything special. So we have a haunted yard, nothing really worth our time, and the other combat one is oh no, I still have to press scan. What's that going to be? Well, at least at least it works. So that's good news. I was worried there for a second, and just a hideout. So yeah, unfortunately, Nepali, not a lot to be found here. Let's go to Postuvin. Usually a better system uh, for some exploration. So let's take that out. And here we have some ice, ice, serpentis, serpentis, and serpentis. All right, nothing too special. And let me quickly just do a recheck. I think it's. I think it'll be okay. So here we go. Yeah, I just. I don't know why, but uh, I felt like uh, doing a little bit of live streaming um, today, just to get the ball rolling here. And what better game to do? That uh, is some some evil line, especially now that I am in solitude. So here we go. Ooh, that's actually not a lot. Uh, drone, drone, drone. So all of this is drone stuff. One other person in local. I, I may just be lucky, you know, if someone cleaned it out of everything. Let's see how big. It maybe, maybe it's it's just. I think it's too small um, to be anything all too worthwhile but just maybe so let's do a quick run f of this one and uh, preemptively I'm also going to open up Dotlan I think because uh, this is not a good start normally I get at least like three signatures here in post to vim so if Dotlan is open Bali. Nope. 
Valley search. That's a wormhole. I will check it out. The high seek to high seek wormhole would actually be something uh, my brother needs. And me as well. I have some stuff to uh, to get out. I have a quick look here if, is it, if everything is okay. That actually looks... Alright, that, that looks okay. So here we go. The wormhole found pretty quick. Let's head over there. Reload. And here we are in solitude, enjoying some EVE Online. This is my, my daily routine whenever I'm here. What's the world hole going to be? In the meantime, Martuf is coming in as well. From zero return mining. <laughs> and here we go, that's a C3. You can see that from the uh, white color. So moving on to Odinessin. Next. We'll have a look at the next system. That's a pretty sight here with the red sun and then the wormhole. Off we go. Actually a blue in local now. Is that from um, Blackthorn? Corporation, yep, used to be in the Blackthorn Alliance. Uh, we were there two summers ago. Actually, it was quite all right. We did some mining ops. We did some, um, a little bit. I think we did one one roam through uh, Nolsec uh, because it was their anniversary and also some missioning. And, oh, in a Fenrir, actually. So they're still around here, Blackthorn. Uh, the do like to hang around solitudes and oof, this is pretty empty again just one signature and again a combat drone assembly is that large enough eh, that could be better that could be better let's have a look what are you uh, too smaller, I think I'll be okay. 20% already, it's actually not a good sign. It's a combat site at least. Let's have a look. What will you be? Uh, rogue drone asteroid. I'm going to save it. Save location. Submit. Uh, just in case I find absolutely nothing in Jerrick, I will quickly do it. It actually has a chance for a faction drop uh, in the final room here. So rogue drone asteroid infestation. It's not what you want, but if nothing else is there, it's something to consider. So off we go, Jerrick is uh, in, in like a big pipe, uh, can I take the map? Not really worth it, although it was pretty cool to see myself move. Um, it's really uh, the end of the line here, so if I go into Jerrick I cannot go any further except back here into Odinese. And that, this is actually pretty interesting uh, for exploration to find uh, places like that because you don't get too much traffic. So we have an ore site and two signatures. So we will quickly check these out as well. Um, ooh, good size, I have to say. Local is at five. And yeah, those are pretty big signatures. That's often a good sign. Hello there, Sean. Thank you for participating in this live stream test. I, I want to see if it all still works uh, the way it used to. Because I had read, I think it was somewhere on Reddit, um, with all the YouTube changes that were happening, that someone even said you could no longer comment uh, on live streams. Um, I've seen it now as an option, you know, I can disable comments, uh, but uh, it looks since I can see your high right there, that that's still working, thank god, because that would be a real blow. To streaming, that's a data site, that's actually okay, that could be some money. 
So we will quickly scan that down and try and get some uh, some decryptors for some money. Let's grab that. And someone is uh, starting a conversation. Is he watching the stream or not? That's a good question. Let's go for the data sites. Uh, thank you for confirming that uh, the stream is working okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Tyrant Scorn. Let's have a quick look at his character here. I'm always curious as to the employment. Oh, quite, uh, quite a recent character. Probably an Alto. Yeah, there is always uh, a delay of like 10 seconds or something like that. Uh, because it has to go through processing uh, on YouTube's end. So there is nothing I can do about that. At least it's not like a minute, which is uh, what it's like on Twitch at the moment. Which I would find uh, a pretty bad news as well. And here we go. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, that process is not bad, if I'm not mistaken. Well, actually it's gone down quite a lot, uh, but I thought that was okay. Next one. Ah, that's really an empty one, that's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, I hope if the quality is okay, then, then this could actually be a, a big advantage compared to what Twitch is doing at the moment. If you can just have like a 10 second delay. <laughs> yeah, infected, you are correct. That was, uh, I had some technical issues, but it seems like I've been able to resolve them. So let's get to hacking. You're down. You're down. Let's get some hit points. And here is the core. So parts and materials. Parts. Any of yeah, this one I'll want you next. Definitely. In fact, I'm gonna start traveling that way. That's what I wanted, so I should not have clicked parts here again. Uh, materials, materials, yeah, you're next. Materials there as well, and here as well. You're not? Okay, you're next. And after that, yep, okay, I have the current amplifiers as well. So that's this one shard. I have what I came for. Next one. At 32, has some data cores. Oh, really? Twitch doesn't support 1080? Uh, I guess that depends on uh, on if you're partnered or not. I think it has something to do with that. But if it's coming in at 1080 and uh, you guys are saying the quality is good, that's that's awesome news, of course. I've, I want, you know, I planned to, to do more streaming, but it is a lot of work as well and a lot of time. On the other hand, Whenever I start a new game, I'm always in the debate. Do I make individual videos or should I try and stream some more? And uh, this is just, hopefully this is going to be like the warm-up uh, for me to do more streaming. Because it's actually a lot of fun as well. So that's going to be an info chart. with only uh, parts that are useful here, parts containers, so time to stop and start the hack. By the way, if you're, if you're noticing like a ghost site on my overview, feel free to yell, because I tend to, uh, to miss them. So parts, parts, data, parts here again, that's already three of them. That one is not. But it does look like they'll be grouped together quite nicely. So that should be okay. Nope. Oh, and that one is actually trying to get away from me. Data, equipments, materials, materials. Yep, here we go. We have them. Won't be worth a lot, but uh, at least it should still be something. Yeah, 300,000 ISK for two data cores. It's Galente. What is it? Starship Engineering. Once I have enough of these, I could actually consider putting up the POS and um, take to research at some point. <clears throat> I 
And yeah, that's that's really good news that it's uh, actually working. It scared me for a moment when I didn't get the go live button. And I had to cancel the previous uh, attempt. So here we go, final info shards. Uh, that's not too much, but overall, this is going to be an okay one, I think. So let's hit it. Grab that. Here we go. Yep, here is the core, perfect, parts and materials as always. Data, parts, I'll grab you. Data, data, I can ignore these. After that we'll start heading here. Parts, parts, materials. So that's already a good one. That's not the best one. And okay, just these two left. So we should actually have this pretty easily. We actually already have the current amplifiers and here comes the data course putting me at 11 million in cargo uh, it's not the correct value because i do have a tractor unit with me oh, well tractor units okay let's uh, head for one of the planets check out this last signature and have a quick look at value like this 3.5 million from one data site quickly found just three containers uh, I'm okay with this actually for the time and the effort invested this is okay What would be interesting in stream is the training class the CCP fleet you recorded kind of missed all the essential information I was a bit short on tips and tricks. Yeah, I think it's actually like the second or the third fleet that CCP uh, organizes um, so they're still trying to figure out uh, how to do this uh, best I think and honestly streaming Eve is is very hard um, they asked you know is anyone going to stream uh, the CCP fleet and I chose not to because it's so you never know what what's gonna happen you know uh, I didn't want to have the same thing I, I did during one of the live events uh, where it was two hours of traveling towards uh, the destination me losing my patience and uh, then just getting myself blown up in the stupidest way you could have the exact same thing where we try and do the ccp fleet first wormhole we come in it's full of hostiles and we get taken out 10 minutes that's the ccp fleet I, it, when it came to that i was like i think i'll just record it and, and make a separate video out of it uh, so i still have the option of of not doing anything if it turns out it's a total uh, waste of time basically for anyone that wants to learn uh, in that fleet it would have been an honest uh, report though but <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm just not sure it's it's always tricky I find oh and that's a relic that's a relic one <laughs> yeah with the other fleet well if you could live stream a CCP they've seen that would be cool <laughs> We'll quickly do the relic site since there's really not much else. Uh, but yeah, these four systems that I've just uh, explored, that's my routine. Whenever I'm over here in solitude, which is for PI or research, this takes me, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes, something like that. <coughs> and um, and then I, I end up maybe with some, some good money uh, out of that. So. I find this quite a relaxing way of doing it. And let's have a... Ooh, there's actually a Heron in here. So let's quickly do a scan of uh, all the available containers. If anything good were to be in them, might just make a run for it. That's not really worth it. Some free power circuits. Burned logic circuits, well, you could do it for them, but unless there's a PPC in one of them, I'm not going to go after it anymore. And last one, no, no BPC. So we'll go back to Odinessin. We'll uh, quickly do the drone side there, see if I can get some faction from that. And um, then... You know, if you take your time here, you can be lucky on the respawns on the way back. I've actually found a lot of good stuff uh, that way as well. 
just knowing that there's only one signature in uh, Odinessi. If by the time I finish the site there's a second one, good chance for something uh, good. Hi Philip. Yep. Uh, I feel I should do some more streaming. So today is, is a bit of a, a test rerun to see if everything is still working uh, the way it should. But uh, I feel that I really want to stream some more. The issue is just uh, time. Uh, often, uh, especially during the holidays, I had to work quite a lot and quite hard. And where is my people and places? Let's have a quick look here. That should be what I need. And let's also activate this so that this gets updated. It's not always to have the time to uh, to stream and then EVE Online is, is in my opinion the hardest game to stream of any other game you know if, if the ESO uh, NDA was not in place you know I would have streamed probably a lot of that as well uh, which would have been a lot easier you know because you can just explore the game without any uh, bad surprises in EVE Online if, uh, if, if the wrong people are watching they could come and, uh, and gank me or steal my sights and all of that good stuff. It's part of the fun, but it's also part of the uh, difficulty of doing stuff live here. So let's go shoot some drones. Like that. Okay, one, two, three. Small drones out. And engage Tarantula Apis. And he's down, so let's get everyone back. Next room, it's sentry time. Ah, <laughs> also in the EVE YouTube channel. Let's give them a hi guys here as well. Hello, digital. Let's say uh, let's grab some uh, some loot. Hopefully, oh, one of them needs to be repaired. Let's take the opportunity to do that too. And here we go. Drones coming down. I want you to. Here we go. I'm really bad at remembering when I have to repair some of them. This is from uh, an interesting experiment. You'll get this video tomorrow normally. <laughs> I'm sure you will. So that's looking okay. Kill some more. at 40 and I should be gone. Let's see if they can hit that Alvi at 47. If not, no. Then that's actually not worth it anymore. At this point, you're better off starting to move and actually putting on your um, your damage control should be good as well. And here we go. Thanks to the range, I can actually uh, just get my, my uh, small drones at the target at 50 kilometers. By the time I'm there, all four of them are gone. And this is decently efficient uh, for this site. I don't bother with, with that container. I know there's like uh, an overseer effect in that, worth a few hundred. Uh, but what we're really going after is the faction loot, possibly in the next room. <clears throat> I 
see, there goes my army. Oh, we'll actually get there a bit early, I think. That one at 40, I should have taken care of that one first. There we go. That's in range good. And that looks like a, a fast little creator, but he's gone. In the meantime, I do like to... Oh, there we go! Cosmic Signature! That's awesome! That's really good. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Alright, everyone is inside. That's good. <laughs> I was a little early now, because now I want to finish the site and check out what this new signature is, of course. And this is what I'm talking about. Sometimes doing these sites that are not great, but you know the situation in those four systems, it can yield you... Uh, a spawn and uh, that's always a, a very good chance if you're the first one to uh, to discover it so let's hit that and uh, first I'll clean this up then I'll quickly check out the signature and then I'll go for the container lost I think that's gonna be the best way to do it Yeah, it's, it's a decently fast uh, site. I've actually had a 34 million micro warp drive in this. So here we go. Nope, don't need to approach, need to engage. That's going down. Boom, boom, boom. Actually might want to get a few of them on that. Because at 20 they can be pretty fast. There we go. Shoot them down. It's going pretty well. Uh, go full throttle, guys. Come on. Good stuff. Perfect, perfect. It's not that easy to uh, finish this site with only the sentries out, just because they are so fast that you can actually end up with uh, five, six drones around you having to switch out. So here we go. Owned. All right, normally I would go for the container, but now I need to know what's, uh, what's on the other side here. What is this? In the meantime, that one despawns because I've basically finished it. Hopefully the, the site doesn't despawn while I do this. But the new signature, always potential. Always potential. Let's check it out. I'm right on the middle. <laughs> okay. Thanks for adding me as contacts. It's a it's a data site that's that's gonna be okay potentially could uh, yield me some money. So that's that's quite all right. I'm happy with that. Let's go. That's done. Uh, approach is all I can do here. Full speed. I could have done that. Damn it. Here is a, a mistake of mine when it comes to efficiency. Um, I could have done this movement while I was scanning and I would have saved me a little bit of time. But uh, let's check it out. Maybe, maybe some good stuff. And then we have another data site ready. In the meantime, 
I'll return the favor and I'll uh, do the labels later. I do have like labels for uh, for viewers and uh, for enemies as well. My little black book got some uh, some guys I'd like to get back to at some point. <laughs> gonna be let's hope I can have the magical Ishtar with me that just flies through buildings it does that's good avoid collision grab loot ah only seven tier overseer effects chance is very low in this site but there is a chance so let's get a little bit of space and then we will head for that mainframe which is over there okay go a bit lower cut engines go for loot well i'll do the mail later um <laughs> digital <laughs> Off we go. Quick check of the number of signatures. That's okay. And okay. Activate afterburner to get after them. Uh, quick scan with the cargo scanner first, of course. What's in here? That's okay. That's gonna be a little bit of extra money. Not the best, but if I'm not mistaken, these uh, decryptors are actually slowly going back up now. And here is what I need. So parts and materials. No parts. Oh, that's lucky. Parts. Yep, that's the decryptor. Good. Next up is materials. Let's start moving. What is this? Data. No materials. Oh, that one's blinking. So we'll take you next. Scraps. And then we'll go for that one. Should be good. Let's go. Alright, uh, accelerant, I think that's okay. And do I have them? Yep, I do. Good, that's I think another million. And a BBC for reactive armor hardener. It's That's nothing special, but I do make them here. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> you are very welcome. I'm having a lot of fun. Grab this stuff, go, go. Ah. Uh, parts and data this time. Parts, I definitely want you. And you as well. Traveling so fast. Two decryptors and then a data. That's one. Materials, equipment, scraps. That's two. Good. And then data. Alright, there we go. Another data site cleaned up. Cleaned up and nothing new. So let's head back to Postovin. Check out the situation over there. Hi Peter, by the way. Thank you for tuning in. This will put me at, let's have a look, 8 million. Okay, I'd like to have 20. That's always uh, my benchmark. Because that's Plex territory.
that looks exactly the same does which was c3 wormhole in this one uh, i can actually lose this one remove off we go The average time to find a site, well, it does depend a little bit on the site, but for the good combat sites, I can probably scan that down in four to five uh, scans, so less than a minute for me, I would say. There are some uh, data and relic sites which have then like five uh, shards in them that are a lot uh, more difficult and we have two before not 100% sure on this yeah actually we did so let's recover them and uh, yeah we'll, we'll check out uh, the other side then normally I would go ice mine at this point another 10 million in ice mining that's pretty easily done in just uh, two full uh, machinos but I won't uh, I won't force you guys through that so we'll do some more exploration and did someone else add me as well yep maybe it comes later Refuge, drone, four of them? That's not bad. Anything... Hmm. Unfortunately, none of them really stand out as a, as a potential fire outpost. For that you want something that's just a little bit bigger in circumference to your normal scan. So yeah, let's check it out. Uh, shouldn't take too long. Especially if they're all clumped up like this, you can just get a good idea right away. So we get four signatures. Let's see how quickly I can uh, find out what they are. Wormhole relic. Well, the combat site is generally the more interesting one, so we'll have a look at that. Yep, that's right on top of it. I think this is third scan. Desolate site, not really worth it, so we do have one left. That could be something. And is my brother on? No, he's not, so I'm not going to go and do all the wormholes. He's looking for an exit for his loot. A little bit surprising how high that is. But yeah, this is my normal scanning way. And it's, it's of course up to you to decide what you want to ignore or not. You know, a relic site, I'll ignore that. Here, for instance, I have a wormhole at 40%. So I'll give it just like one more chance to quickly find it and check it out. The other one is once again at zero. I'd have to redo that three times probably. So I won't bother with this. But uh, yeah, there you go. I find a wormhole pretty easily, so I check it out. Four signatures, uh, not a lot to find here though. No ghost site either. And this this new this scanner feature. What's it called here? Yeah, it's just the onboard scanner. I think that's one of the the awesomest additions that has been digested most quickly. Uh, what I mean by that is before you had no idea and ah, just another C3. I think where our what is right next to low six, so we'll check that out. Next, um, before this feature, 
you had no idea what else was in space just by looking at it but now it really feels like you can you can uh, find the entire system that you find when scanning with the probes back here which i think is pretty damn awesome so i do like to uh, have it on from time to time but yeah this maybe two minutes to check out the entire system four signatures nothing interesting move on And here come the bounties, that's not gonna be a lot, 200,000. Someone bought stuff from me. That's still one of the bug. Ah, damn it, he didn't hide away for a second. I thought it was gonna be a ghost site, but it's not. What does that look like? Oof. Yeah, that's not going to be a fire outpost. We'll have a quick look. And that is one bug sometimes when you come into the system, it doesn't show anything, then just uh, click and unclick, show anomalies. It's a combat site. Weird how it moved so much. But uh, that's not going to be anything of interest, I feel. Haunted yards, not worth it. Moving back and further on. Let's see what's on the television. Pax Amaria. Share the wisdom of our beloved leader. <laughs> Four, that was normal. Next up, Urs. And yeah, Mare is often an interesting one as well for some reason. Drone stuff. Jumping. And whoa, an empty system here. There next. That's highly unusual. Fifteen in local, but an empty urs. That's not something I see every day. Yeah, it's it's been there since the feature has come out from time to time, where you get no results. I'm sure CCP will come around to fix that in the next five, six years or something. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, let me know. I'll give my brother a quick call. You, what are you going to scan? Yep, I'm, I'm not in the best clone, but uh, go ahead and let me know if there's something there. Then I'll come and join you. Uh, one signature 
in. Ah, again, terrible, terrible. Yes. So if this is nothing, then we're gonna move into low sick. What the hell? You only live once and scanner. 22%. Uh, keep in mind, I am live streaming, of course, so people do know then if I go into low sick, everyone knows I'm <laughs> going into low sick. <laughs> Let me know when you're in there and what's in there. And again, haunted yard. Blech. Terrible. So it's near Wererwa, correct? Okay. So I'm heading back and it looks like we're going into Losek exploration. Here we get some uh, Blackthorn guys in local, in Urs. One, two, three, four. Already lost guys, Urs to voice the nope to Larin, yes. <laughs> yeah now Tyrant wants me to start talking in Dutch. I'm going to try and avoid that as much as possible, but I have to say with my brother on Skype. It's hard to, to have to switch in between languages sometimes. I am from Belgium, so English is not my native language. I'm pretty sure if I lose my ship, you'll hear some Dutch, but... <laughs> are you in? Where are you? Roger that. Van de Moons, that's also Dutch. Uh, Brad, if you're uh, if you're asking whether it would make sense to come to Solitude to explore, uh, I'll be honest. I think it's not no longer worth it. Um, the amount of sites I find has gone way down since I've been advertising Solitude by making so many videos uh, of them. And um, I'd say there's there's way better uh, better better places out there probably if you look a little bit for other high sick islands. Um, I mean, feel free to come here if if it's what you want to do, uh, but don't expect to to hit the mother load anymore uh, in the same way that I did when I first started exploring Solitude uh, with Eve Online Odyssey. Um, there's way more competition out here now, so. I've advertised it just a little bit too much. And you're in Sarlene? And... And local? Okay, well, I have a cloak, yes. Okay. 
Okay. Then I'll start with the safe myself. And Hi Tyrant, yep, there is actually the ability to chat during a live stream. I was worried about that, someone said that it was like not possible, but um, you didn't see that, right? I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, but yeah, it's still there and functioning quite well, I think. 10 second delay on everything that I say. Let's see, I have a Tyra. Okay. Um, I'll warp to planet 1 at 100. I'll make a safe spot. Roger. Let's add locations. Meet. Then I'll. I'll drop my probes, go for my safe clo uh, cloak up, and uh, do scanning that way. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm also keeping one eye on um, on the chat. Let's see. But I am on Skype with my bro at the moment, so here we go. Probes up, out, warp to my safe. And then we'll see if there's anything here in these low sec systems. Yep. The gate serpent excavation. Alright. Oh, and uh, maybe have a quick look as well at yard drone surveillance. By the way. No. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll check out what all the signatures are and then maybe we can check out if there's a decent site. Um. <coughs> Okay, uh, let me see if I can find something good here. This can. No, first scan, so let's see. IYU has not been taken, I think. My hands are sweating. <laughs> uh, they're preparing a, a carrier hot drop, just letting you know. <laughs> so, are there stations here? Because we'll just dock up then. <laughs> Yeah, that's maybe it's a, a bait procure. But let's let's not start a war with the Blackthorn Alliance either. Uh, gas site, goddammit. I'm going to try OYU then. Let's see if I can get it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know, in Eve, that uh, nobody trusts anyone, so I'm going to assume that it's gonna happen, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> Alright, that's interesting. Might wanna do that then. What is it? Mm, okay. Do a quick search of it, maybe. Um, I have a wormhole. 
ORU, the wormhole. I'm doing JXU now. Mr. Rogers just doing some exploration in solitude. Of the gas sites. HDK, did you do that already? All right, and HYU. Okay, that's the only thing that could be interesting, and I think that and the relic site. Really? <laughs> Oh, I, I can come too, I think, to the relic sites. Uh, just let me know when you're there. Hmm. Alright, let's recover the probe. Probes. Start hitting the D-scan. That's my brother's prophecy. And there was a drake. Well, not too much uh, link spamming if you can. Oh, of course, I'm cloaked. Bon. At the watch list. Warp to member. Warp to member. Right. Let's see what uh, what the relic site in Losek looks like. Yes, I do. Republic Fleet Fire Tail. Called one. All right. Let's uh, let's check them out. Oh really? Oh, he's engaging me? Yep, he must be watching the stream or something. <laughs> uh, so, no, he's still here. Uh, yep, so we're gonna go for it. <laughs> Roskova, not sure what the hell you're doing, but if you engage, is it Blackthorn? Nope. Well, he'll, he'll probably escape because I don't even have a point with me. What the hell? Why are my drones going after him? Come on. Uh, we have to be careful for uh, for buddies, though. Yep, there comes a drake. Oh my god, they're going to kill me. Uh, what, do you want, what do you want me to do? Okay. You're going for the drake? All right. I'll uh, keep my drones on the fire tail, I guess, but he's pretty damn fast. And yeah, I can't scram or, or anything. So yeah, guys, uh, you're gonna have a lot of fun, I think, with the stream, because here comes a hurricane fleet issue as well. Let's see if uh, if he's... No, I'm, I'm scrammed and whipped now, because... Uh... So there you go, guys. This is Losek, by the way. <laughs> this is Losek, uh, just so you know. Not sure if I'll be able to get on top of the fire tail, but I don't think so. Well, he's in armor, he let me go. But uh, yeah, the, the drakes got scram on me now, so let's see if I can uh, get something out on him. Start overheating, Wokers out.
Yeah, but uh, I'm half armor, so decide to do something if you can. Okay. You don't have a remote rep, I guess. Ah. It seems I'm scrammed, uh, that I'm, uh, yeah, ECM'd as well. I mean, my ogres can keep going, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if I can survive <laughs> for just a little bit longer. No, my Ishtar, my wonderful, wonderful Ishtar. I'll start aligning for, uh, for the gates. What's the... Um... Oh, capacitor is empty as well. Yeah, the hurricane is, uh, is being a mother trucker. So here we go. Why do we usually, why do we usually stay in? Uh, why do we usually stay in, <laughs> in high sec? This is why, guys. <laughs> uh, let's see. Local here. Good fight. Good fight. How far was the Drake? Shield's almost gone. Okay. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks, guys, on the stream. <laughs> At least it's it's gonna be entertaining. Let me tell you. So I'll I'll be better prepared. You know, I did this. Uh... Really? And I'm not allowed. It would seem. Um, let's see. Let's do a quick uh, warp back to my my safe then <laughs> it must have been well actually I'm not sure if it's someone from the stream it could be you know with good intel but honestly they'd have to have uh, broke down the relic sites beforehand that's uh, that's a possibility but it was it was okay um, my Ishtar actually lost it a little bit did lose it of course uh, should I be able to jump now let's see going down <laughs> so that's what happens guys when uh, when care bears go out to low sick the locals come and say hi and uh, yeah this is eve guys this is eve And I lost all my loot! <laughs> and I can get back. <laughs> well, it's okay. You, you know that this happens, you know. It's uh, not a big deal at all. Losing my pot would have been worse, honestly. But uh, yeah, that just means I get something new to work on, you know, I lost my Ishtar here, so now I'm going to rebuild a new one, bring it over back to uh, to Solitude, and this actually gives me like like a goal. Uh, of course, normally if you'd go into Losek, you'd be a, a little bit better prepared, um, maybe in something that's a little less valuable and a little more, more sturdy. Um, but yeah, my brother wanted to check out... Uh, the sites, so why the hell not? And uh, this is what happens. If you... I suspect that they did have the sites pre-probed or that they are of course sniping... Um, sniping the stream, but honestly I wouldn't be surprised if that's actually not the case. Uh, because... Um, because yeah, they're just a local residence. I didn't see any probes, which normally you'd, you'd have to see um, if they needed to probe us down in the site itself. And so I do suspect that they were just really well prepared, had all the uh, had all the sites bookmarked, sent the fire tail out to try and find us, undocked in the ships that could easily destroy us, and uh, dispatched us. So yeah, that was that was a good job. And uh, now that's pirating. This is Eve Online. This is pirating. So, I'm arriving home, 
empty handed. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye Ishtar, you've served me well. But uh, yeah, this is part of the fun, guys. Um, I could uh, I could make another probably 30 or 40 Ishtars if I wanted to and lose them in the exact same way. Not my proudest moment, but uh, we'll get revenge someday. And here we go in the station, ready to lick my wounds. So uh, yeah, there you go, guys. Some uh, some solitude exploration. Uh, if anyone else wants to come over here, feel feel free to do so. I'm sure those pirates would love that. Uh, but yeah, it's all good fun. And uh, taking my Ishtar in low sec. That's just part of the game, you know. Uh, you have to be prepared to lose what you fly, which uh, in my case is 100% the case. And uh, all good fun. Yeah, it was pretty fast, but uh, a well-organized pirate group. They're efficient at what they do. So always be careful out there as well. Uh, anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, that's obviously going to be it for the stream. Uh, good tests. Uh, good first run in uh, in quite a while. I'll see if, I, if I'll do more streaming. I do want to. And this was actually uh, decently fun. If I... Maybe my, the Ishtar hurts a little bit, to be honest. Uh, but uh, yeah, then I just shouldn't have flown it into low sick. Thank you guys, and uh, we'll see you all next time.